also need to become fear's BFF. You need to be best friends with fear, whether you like it or not. I started working on a project shortly after that talk, and I learned something that changed the way I think about fear and pain and discomfort forever. I worked with a psychotherapist who said to me, the research shows that when we numb pain, we numb joy. When we numb pain, we numb joy. Now, pain is one word for it. Another might be discomfort, fear. When we numb this bad stuff, we numb the good stuff, and we end up feeling something average and in the middle. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to stay there. I want to go across that bridge. I want to get to the joy. I want to get to the happiness. I want to feel brave and courageous. Because let me tell you, this stuff is better than zip lining and shark diving and skydiving. I felt like an emotional badass. This is where the good stuff is. But we have a numbing culture. We have epidemic proportions when it comes to prescription drugs. I don't know, when did it become normal that we pop a pill, that we drink a glass of wine at the end of a day when we inhale a pie just to avoid sitting with our feelings? When did it become normal to numb discomfort and pain and fear and not be willing to sit in it? Around that time, I was going through some pain. Heartache, romance, love. It sucks, doesn't it, when it doesn't work out? I wasn't in a good place and I was ready to numb. I was at the Ralph's supermarket, and I had my trolley ready. As I'm walking down the aisle, I grab a box of tissues, Kleenex, of course. Next stop, the ice cream freezers, Magnum ice creams. By the time I get to the checkout, I have just three items, my Kleenex, my ice cream, and a loaf of bread. Now, I live in LA. I knew it was bad, because nobody eats bread. So I looked at myself when I got home and I thought, what are you doing? You've just learnt this stuff. You can't be numbing. You're allowed one day, maybe two. By day three, that's it. You are going to feel this. And so I made myself feel it. And for 22 days, I cried every single morning. I would go out running with dark sunglasses and tears streaming down my face. But by damn it, I was running. I was feeling it for the first time ever. So I had to learn I had to acknowledge, I had to acknowledge the important role that pain and fear and discomfort have in my journey to feeling full joy. I had to acknowledge the important role that they play and see them as my BFFs and my best friends.